the average Australian household is insured for about $140,000 at the moment, which is roughly the median income for an individual in Australia. This is in no way enough because if you live in one of the capital cities like Melbourne, Brisbane, Sydney, the average mortgage is much, much higher than that. So a lot of people who are only insured to this level, if they pass away, the partner has probably lost the main wage earner and you've still got a large mortgage. So what happens in a lot of these situations is the surviving partner and the children will generally have to sell their house and buy something much smaller or rent. So when you calculate life insurance, you have to calculate how much mortgage is there. You have to calculate the value of your, the lifetime value of your wage. So if something does happen, your dependents do not have to change their lifestyle. Most Australians would have, if they had a car worth $50,000, if you ask them if they had comprehensive insurance, they look at it and say, of course I do. I can't afford to lose that car. I can't afford to replace it. And yet we don't insure our own lives. If something happens and something goes wrong, the remaining people are just left with a financial nightmare. We really do need to talk about it, but the problem is, most people don't like talking about illness, they don't like talking about death. So they're very reluctant to talk about it amongst themselves, and they're certainly also very reluctant to talk about it to a third party. They really need to go and see the financial planner and sit down and just say, look, we need to find out what level of insurance we need. If you book a meeting, normally the planner will do an important information file where they just ask you lots of information about your income, your age, your medical history. And while a lot of this is quite painful and quite even tedious to do, it's very important because once you've done it, it actually gives you a very clear picture of what you need to do. And look, it's a good conversation starter because it's one of those things that a lot of couples don't actually talk about. They don't talk about when they get a mortgage, they don't talk about when they have children, uh, talk about it when they change jobs, when they move house, and when they get married. There's so many things that change your financial life and your financial means, and no one even talks about it. They don't adjust their lifestyle. They just keep going. Also, with these insurances, they're much easier to get, much cheaper if you get them as a 20 or 30 year old, rather than as people with plus 40. You're probably not as fit as you used to be. Some pre-existing conditions like you know, if you're a carpenter or something, you've got a bad back. You know, if you're sitting in an office, you might put on 10 or 15 kilo. Like, there's so many things that make insurance harder to get and much more expensive after 40. So this is a conversation we actually need to do early. Well.